Okay, so we're going to do a fancy fold card today. It is called the double fan card because you can see there are two fans on both sides. And um, I have another one that I'll show you. This is the one we're going to make. But this is the first one. This is the first one I made, and I absolutely love that blue gl uh, glimmer paper or glitter paper. And uh, so this was the first one, my prototype. I saw this on um, uh, demonstrator um, um, demonstrator place, um, and Levon Schwendman is the one that had shared and that shared the dimensions and stuff like that on that and. I took it from there. So this one is a Christmas one I made. You and I used um, uh, seems like um, like frost designer series paper along with that. And then I'm going to make this one using glad tidings. I think it is. Bright, it's brightly gleaming designer series paper and uh, it was carried over from last year I'm so pleased about that because I just love the copper embossing in there and all the various different colors so let's get started but speaking of designer series paper before we go any further I want to point out the designer series paper sale which is going on the month of October 15% off and what's really special about this program this time is that in the past you've had to buy three packages and then you get one package, the fourth package, for free. This time you can, each package is on discount at 15% off. It includes all the designer series paper, but not the specialty designer series paper. But it even includes the holiday ones, which I think is very, very generous of them because it's still in the holiday uh, catalog. And still active. Anyway, and um, so this is the this is the month to get your paper uh, designer series paper um, stock stocked up, and you can do that by ordering through my website, my online store, Creations by Sue at StampinUp.net, and if when you order online you use the October host code DWAF2. JWW, um, I'll send you um, a little special surprise for using the host code. If you have any questions about how to use it, email me, so, um, sue at soggystamper.com, and I'll be happy to help you with that. Okay, so the card starts with a piece of seven and a half by five and a half cardstock, and I'm using Whisper, um, very, fin very vanilla for that. We are going to be using a piece of um, copper foil that is two inches by, let me get my cheat sheet, the, the mat is two and a quarter by five and a quarter. Um, that's the copper foil, and then the de designer series paper is two inches by five inches. And I'm going to have these measurements on my blog after the video is over. Then we have two pieces um, of the foil that are um, five by two and a quarter. So there's two of those, and there's two of the designer series paper that are four and three-fourths by two inches. And we'll be cutting those into triangles. And I've already done on for one side of them and glued and layered them um, to save time. But I will show you how to cut those and we'll do the other half with this piece of paper. Then, um, and they go in these areas here. 
And then I die cut from the foil paper the star, which is from the retired star light thinlets dies. Um, don't have the current star thing or I would have used it, but this really fits the design really well. And I love the laciness of the star. And I die cut that ahead of time too for to save time. When we get the mini um, die, uh, die cutting and embossing machine, I will then do it here on, under the camera because it's, it's nice. It's only about three and a half inches. It fits under there very nicely. The other one's a little big. And then I have cut a piece of the uh, copper foil using this die from the Stitch So Sweetly dies, this one. And then also I have already stamped on vanilla, very vanilla. The greeting, which comes from the mini, uh, mini Christmas greetings set, itty bitty Christmas set. So it fits right there. Now, you'll notice that there is a little bit of foil showing around this, but these happen to be the exact same size. So I'm gonna show you a little trick to get a little edging around um, like that. Okay, so we're gonna start get this one machine in here. And our designer and our wispy white. There is a problem. How am I going to get this under? Hmm. I'm going to have to rearrange things a little bit so that I can get this under the camera. Oh, I'll do it sideways if I can. Doing it backwards is maybe going to be a challenge. Okay, so the first score is at two, is at one. Um, and a quarter. So one and a quarter is there. And score that. And the next one is at two and a half. So we'll move it over to two and a half. And we'll score. And then again at five. And we'll score it. And since the two sides are equal, I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to do the one and a quarter on this end. I could have extended out the arm, um, but this is works just as well. Okay, now the next trick is we're going to score from diagonally. So we pull it one corner. We're going to go from the first. We'll go from the top left corner down to this score line here. And then we'll turn it, and we'll do the opposite. This right and like that. And then we'll do the same thing over on this side. Go from this corner over to here. And then turn it the other way. Okay, so the vertical scores lines are mountain folds. So fold like that and like that. And where is it? There it is. Make 
nice crisp fillings. Diagonal folds or valley folds. The diagonal squares, I should say. That. Okay, so as you can see, this already has kind of folded itself. Let me fold this back, and there you have that fold. Oh, I didn't do a real good job of making a smooth, accurate fold, it looks like. from the front side that looks like this and then you open it up so this is what the base this is what the base looks like okay since I have already put the center panel together I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to adhere that right here to the very front That's better. So we'll put that right there. And I'll go ahead and I'll add the star using multi purpose liquid glue, glue with little tiny dots. And yeah, this is the star. Now, I was going to tell you how to make this work. You put it on here and you cut it in half. I'll hold it while I cut it. I'm 
I'm going to do is we're going to put it so that it's just barely showing like that and one on each side. So put a little bit of glue here. I like the liquid glue because you can slide it around and get it positioned just the way you want. Whereas the stamp and seal, once it's down, it's really hard to get it back up. trouble with liquid glue is it's hard to get it off your fingers. And I'm going to add that to the card front with the stamp and seal. I mean stamp and dimensional. So, okay, so now we've got to cut these two pieces to get our triangles. I'm going to start with the copper foil. And you put, I'm going to cut crosswise, diagonally. Like that, and this is big enough for me. No, can't see it that far away. Okay, take it that way, and then turn it the opposite direction. Making sure that your corners are lined up just like they were before you cut. And then you cut it the other way. Now you have four pieces. These two go on the sides like this. And these two go in the top part. Just cut them in half too, also. This makes it kind of easy. I played around with the measurements. It's really interesting because with the way the angles of the triangles are, you would think that you could just easily, oh, let's say the first one was two inches wide, and then you want to have, maybe you want a quarter, an eighth of an inch all the way around, and so you cut the next one um, a quarter of an inch shorter, but that changes the whole angle. So you, it took a little bit of fussing fussing around to get it right. Okay, we'll do the same thing for the designer series paper.
go through with the cutting. So it's just a matter now of putting the layers together. This is designed to be supposedly an eighth of an inch border. But you can see the angle just slightly different on some of these, depending on how careful I was in cutting or scoring. Cutting, actually. Sorry that I'm so quiet, but when I'm concentrating, it's hard to remember to talk. It's a little hard to talk and concentrate at the same time. Maybe you guys are good at that. But... On this card, I chose to use the same side of the designer series paper all the way through the whole card. I'll show you with the other Christmas card I made how I altered, alternated the DSP sides. So now let's, we'll add them to the card. So this goes down here. This particular designer series paper is my, one of my very all-time favorites. Like I said earlier, I'm really really excited that they carried it over. And I still had some left, amazingly. Because, and particularly, I had not used this design, this pattern.
So you see, that's how it goes together. I won't take your time to do the other side. Um, this was when I have both sides together. Now, if you notice, there's a little sparkly I put in the corners. When you fold it up, let me fold. Can you see the sparkles? Those are the blue adhesive back um, gems. And so I added that one in the corner here and here, and these over here. So we'll just add on. It might take it. Take your pick. I thought these colors went. This blue with the copper coloring with it was perfect for this paper. It wasn't part of this paper suite, but they are perfect. Hmm. So this side is not complete. And so that's how you do it. That's the double fan fold card. Like I say, I will put my the dimensions um, and on my blog so that you can follow up with that. And there's the finished card. It's you can see how it is three-dimensional and it will even stand by itself. So this makes a very special Christmas card that people are going to want to hang on to. Now I was talking about using the same side of the designer series paper for this card. This one with the seams like uh, uh, frost, I used the printed side on these pieces and then these pieces have the reverse side, which was snowflakes that were um, silver embossed. Anyway, uh, so that's it. Thank you for watching. I um, encourage you to check out my blog, um, www.soggystamper.com. Um, and if you need any of these supplies, um, visit my online store, Creations by Sue at stampinup.net to place your order, or you can email it to me at sue at soggystamper.com. This uh, video will also be on my YouTube channel, um, The Soggy Stamper, uh, within the next day or two. So thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great weekend. See you next week at 3 o'clock on Friday.